Welcome to the Neuroscience for Sales Success podcast, where I will be rewiring your brain in three, two, one. I'm your host, Kaylin Ellsbury, and I created this for one purpose and one purpose only, because I want to see salespeople who actually accelerate in their career. I want to see a place where salespeople can come together to share tips and tactics and success stories about creating prosperity for themselves, their customers, their community, their business. I want to see a place where we end bad sales calls because I believe at the core of who I am and why I create everything is because when people get together with the common mission to positively help others in their community, it stems from all of us being prosperous ourselves. So we are combining passion, we are combining exceptional skills, and we are combining our love for helping other people through our own purpose, prosperity, and power. So welcome to the new show, Neuroscience for Sales Success. Now, many of you tuned in for my first 25 episodes, which was kind of a a testing ground, if you will, for me. Loved what we did, got to meet a lot of you had some amazing breakthrough calls. We changed some lives. And true to form, I believe that our paths are never done and that we're always continuously evolving and continuously improving. And part of that was for me to realize where my strengths lie. Because when you realize where your strengths lie and you stop lying to yourself, success happens much, much more quickly than you ever anticipated. And For me, I was on a call and somebody slapped me upside the head metaphorically with love and said, why, 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 why am I not talking about sales? And I had all these limiting beliefs, which is hilarious because when we truly look at it in the next, this show is going to be interesting because I'm going to explain to you why I'm doing such a rapid pivot, what this show is going to be about. And uh, but before we get into today's episode, which is how to create positive team identity, I need you to do me a solid, do yourself a solid, and head on over to the website. If you have not already, it's kaylinellsbury.com. You can uh, Google how to see it, but K-L-Y-N-E-L-S-B-U-R-Y.com backslash podcast. And you're going to download the free gift I have for you because we can't kick off a new show without giving you guys gifts, right? And this new thing is all about building a sales team, what it is about winning in sales, creating your team, creating your tribe. And let me take a side note. If you are listening to this, stop because you found your tribe. Stop searching for your tribe. We are your tribe. I am building this tribe. If you are one of those people who thinks grit and hustle and going at it only works to a point because you need the mindset success to go with that, but you can't actually succeed without the actual tools and tactics and you want to be surrounded among people who also want to contribute to the greater good of the world, you found your tribe. Stop looking, boo-boo. We got you. Welcome. Welcome. And get started. Head on over to kaylinellsbury.com backslash podcast and download my 30-something page guide. I don't even remember how many pages it is. I just kept going Um, (laughs) about how to unlock your inner genius as a salesperson. It's all about how to find and identify great teams, how to set positive goals, how to actually work towards those goals, and most of all, how to leverage neuroscience so that you can not only untap the rock star in yourself to elevate your business to the next level, but also how you can identify and attract your own tribe. So one of my favorite things to do will also be answering questions. Um, You can always go to the site and uh, you can respond to any of the messages or you can see a little icon there. Go ahead, leave us a message. We will answer it on the show. Check that out. Now, that all of the housekeeping is out of order, welcome to the first real episode of Neuroscience for Sales Success. Now, this is the first time that everybody's going to be listening to the new show. And don't forget to get your PDF. It's an amazing PDF, um, 30 pages, seven ways to use neuroscience for sales success, actionable steps, real stuff you can use to grow your business, grow your sales team, grow your personal fulfillment, And obviously, make more money. So when we decided to pivot this, I started listening through some old episodes, and I started really listening to listener feedback. And um, the one question I got over and over and over and over is, how do I increase my sales? How do I become the kind of salesperson 
who can confidently close over the phone, the kind of salesperson who has extremely high amounts of energy, the kind of salesperson who can get over the doubts and the insecurities and the imposter syndrome, the kind of salesperson who's productive enough that they can write their RFPs, request for proposals, meet up with the clients, share that gratitude, deepen that relationship. And if somebody can't afford the services, they find a workaround because we want all of us to be prosperous because when we're prosperous, we help others more, right? And um, yeah, it was a slap in the face for me when I, I realized that the show I had, as much as I loved it, I had to create a different style of show. So I spoke to all my other coaches and uh, some of my really good friends and business mentors, people like Deb Gabor, Jack Daly, we're throwing it out you, uh, Kent, Kent from Boston, hey, um, Damien, a lot of you have spoken with Damien and it just, it's been slapping me in the face over and over and over and I was too stubborn to listen to it and I realized if I can get over my own stubbornness and fear, and you can too. And so that's where Neuroscience of Sales Success came for you. So Today's podcast is really all about what this new show is going to be about, what we want to offer, how we're going to help you, and if you have a team, how to help your sales team grow. So I'm going to tell you a little bit. I'm going to humble brag. Can we call it humble brag? It's 2020. Is that like not 2019? By the way, welcome the new year. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my sales background. And the reason I want to tell you a little bit about the sales background is because I want you to know the side of me that I have been most reluctant to share. Um, not because I didn't feel like I was good enough or anything like that, but because I I was missing this for so much of my life. I did sales training for a little bit. And uh, when I got out of it, I just, I missed it. And I was embarrassed by what it meant to miss something. Um, and I thought maybe there'd be other paths for me or other opportunities, but I realized I, I stepped away from my core identity. And I love it. I, I freaking love it. So I've gotten amazing experience all the way from door to door to managing sales floor, doing sales training, working with remote sales teams, uh, and then changing it to one of the most powerful recruiting sales organizations that I've ever known was a big part of how I got here. So I think that, you know, let's start off with the question is, what are we going to offer you for listening? What am I going to teach you? Well, number one, I, I think it's very important, and I've talked about this, it's not theory. You know, so there's a lot of people out there, coaches, sales trainers, sales consultants, sales techies, sales gurus, whatever. Uh, there's a lot of people out there doing the sales training and so forth. And a lot of it's theory. But what I love about what this show is going to be is I don't want theory. I want hardcore tactics. I want things that when you listen to this show and, you know, it's over with for the day. And by the way, binge watch it, leave a review, all that jazz. But when you're done listening, you're sitting there thinking, oh, yes, yes, that was a good one. In fact, it's so good that tonight when I'm planning out my day for tomorrow, I'm going to add in a couple of those tactics. I want it to be so meaty that you call me and you're like, hey, I closed $100,000 because of that one tactic you gave me on that show. I want it to be so good that you call me up and you go, Kaylin, that was great, but I need more. Can you come to my office and teach my team this? I want it to be so great that you exceed your quota, you exceed your goals, and you have that moment where you are sitting there thinking, dang it, now what? How do I grow even more? And then you're able to take your prosperity and your growth and give it back to your community, give it back to those who need it, take on a couple mentees, train somebody the way you were trained, help develop somebody else's skills. That's what I see. That's what I want to do. This So that's what we're offering you. I'm offering you the best of the best tactics, not theory, leveraging neuroscience. So that's exactly what you get. And it's really true. And you'll find that as the show evolves, we're all going to have a lot of similar experiences. We've, we've all been beat up. We've had, you know, our share of bloody noses, cutting our teeth. Um, we're street. We are so street. We've come from the streets. I've been disabled. I've been on disability. I've been on social security. I lived in a trailer. I lived in rural Iowa. And I've risen to, frankly, like not to brag, but got a successful career. You know, um, we've got this podcast. I have, we're estimating around 500,000 um, hits through all of our stuff combined every single month. So people know who we are. We know what we're about. We know what we're doing. It's, it's pretty successful. I'm keynoting all over our uh, the United States, maybe one day the world. And so at this point, I've done everything from door-to-door -door sales, phone sales, that was fun, um, flying around the country, meeting with CEOs, meeting with CFOs, meeting with the VP of sales, meeting with the, you know, the, the, the 
coach or the consultant who doesn't have a lot of sales, but they want to level up. Um, we call it elevate. So they want to elevate. I've done it all. And it's not theory. It's, it's based on results. And if you book a coaching call with me, the link that comes through is not theoretical NLP for entrepreneurs coaching call. Like, no, stop it. It is literally called Elevate, Values-Based Coaching. And it's called that because that is exactly what we are, what we do. And yeah, even though some days I'm sitting in my kitchen with my three-pound co-host, her name's Chanel. You can find her on Instagram, Chanel Travel. She's a teacup Pomeranian Papillon mix. It, it all comes down to that one thing. I've done it. I've cut my teeth. I've hated my days. I always wondered if there was a solution. And then I started to find some of these. And now this is a big give back project for me. So it's based on results and you may want to listen. Now, I think what balances out my personality is I'm going to start bringing in a lot of interviews also. So we've got the, the conversations like what we're having now, where it's just a deep, intimate, raw view of my life. It's not scripted. It's just totally let's Go off the cuff and let's share from a place of passion, knowing there's always going to be three points to every single show. Three points. One, two, three. Highly passionate three points. But I also want to bring in highly successful entrepreneurs, sales coaches, sales trainers, people who've got that extra oomph that we all need, want, and frankly, want to live our lives with. And so I'm going to be interviewing them. A lot of them, some of them were door to door. Some of them created a product. Uh, some of them have only been phones, some have been on the sales training, but we're going to be bringing you a lot of interviews with a lot of sales experts. And that's going to be some fun. There's going to be a lot of great stuff that's not theory, but frankly, how to explode your sales team, how to explode your sales results. And frankly, like obviously, I, I wouldn't be here working on this podcast if I didn't believe it was possible for you. I mean, I spent year after year after year for over a decade perfecting systems processes related to sales. And it started in recruiting. And I was uh, an intern in college. It was actually Prudential Financial. And I started recruiting future financial advisors. And I won an award. That was pretty cool. Like my first week on the job, I won a recruiting award. And then my career up and changed. I was living in Omaha at the time. And I rerouted to a lovely city called Orlando, Florida, where I joined a company called Charles Schwab. Love me some Schwab. Great product, by the way. Love Schwab. And I was in some sort of customer service, or I forget the exact role. But I discovered that what you could do is you could recruit people to work for the company. And if I did enough people, got them convinced to quit their jobs and join Schwab, I would get referral bonuses. And those referral bonuses eventually paid for more than my salary. And that was when I was called to be a uh, official recruiter. And my journey started at a healthcare recruiting firm. And I was a temp recruiter, so doing temporary placements. So a lot of what we talk about will be recruiting. And recruiting actually for a while was my first company. It's such a fun thing. I just I fell out of love with the the day-to-day -day grind of it. And I didn't understand enough about how you go from being in your business to on your business. And I shut it down. It's called Landmark Makers. <laughs> Um, fun company to have. Anyway, so I learned all about recruiting from the temp side. Then I went into the perm side. And then I got promoted to be the basically VP of talent acquisition for this healthcare recruiting firm. And I was in charge of all internal hires. So I would convince salespeople to quit their sales jobs and become recruiters. And then I would convince companies to, if I didn't hire a recruiter, to pay me a referral bonus to send them recruiters. And then if we fired somebody, I'd convince the person that we fired to let me fix their resume so that way I could get them in at another company and collect a bonus on that. So it was really, I'd like to call it the trifecta, but when we analyze it, it's probably like a quadfecta, um, not a word, but it should be. Hey, you're welcome. And so that was kind of the sales side of it. And uh, obviously you all know I have a condition called cystic fibrosis. So my health failed dramatically. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spent a lot of time on social security and disability. I lost everything. I had a house at 22, lost it. And um it became some of the darkest years of my life. And that's when the book decided it had to come out of me. And I, you know, they say whether you're spiritual or not. And of course they started doing construction on the apartment right now. So you're welcome. Um, but they say what happens is if you're spiritual, you get something called like a digital download. So in your mind, you see something and then you open your laptop or your notebook and you're able to just massively write. And that was what I did. I massively wrote and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote. My book came out. And I leveraged LinkedIn and my sales systems and processes that I learned from recruiting. 
and it became an international bestseller. So that was when I was like, you know what, let's start Landmark Makers. That was my recruiting company. And we hit well over six figures in the first few months. And I remember thinking like, wow, I'm doing it. I can't believe it. I'm My intellect is paying not only the bills, but helping pay the bills. And I'm contributing, you know, and I'm able to tithe more. And I was like, this is incredible. And then I realized one day I absolutely hate being in the trenches in recruiting. And I had a online course on recruiting. It was like 87 (laughs) modules. I wrote like a 400 page book on the systems and processes of recruiting. Didn't do anything with it Um, because it wasn't about HR. It wasn't about that side, but it was about the salesmanship behind recruiting. And a lot of how I did it was social media. So people, as I started getting booked more for more and more keynotes and the personal growth neuroscience stuff, people would ask me, how did I do it? And the answer is always, always sales. Like, it doesn't matter. You can have the best product in the world. If you suck at selling said product, the integrity of the product doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't say best written book in I am. It says international bestseller. And so leveraging sales, my book came out, the company was great, shut down the company, um, shut down the online course, and Shark School was born. Shark School was my answer to how you can dominate social media, particularly Instagram and LinkedIn, and just absolutely dominate your space in the marketplace so you can be prosperity. You can be prosperous. Ah, can't talk. Can't talk. Don't don't hold that against me just because this is a podcast. Uh, which is awesome, right? Like, and I know that all the things we're going to be talking about, the content and the things we're giving you that you listen, but you know, you got to remember now, everything I'm running is remotely. When I do sales training for a company, a lot of times it's remote. When I had my landmark makers company, I had employees all over the United States, all remote, you know, and I had to have a business that was remote because I was in the hospital. So, Remote leadership requires a different style of leadership. It requires, in some ways, a better leader, a better recruiter, a better person. Because we can't just go into the office and motivate everyone, right? So motivation has to be lasting or else it's simply ineffective. And that's where neuroscience comes in. So on this podcast, I'm going to be talking about running and hiring remote sales teams a lot. I am also going to teach you actually tactics on how to build rapport, how to ask for the sale, how to close, how to have an entire sales system and process that serves you, your community, and ideally the world at whole. And I'm really excited for all of you. So we're learning all this. And I I just want to take this break, this episode, and really dedicate that to helping you with this. Because there's there's a lot of salespeople out there. And frankly, they're not going to bring in the, the value or the talent that you need. And I want to show you how to find those superstars, those rock stars, those needles in a haystack that will be gems on your team, because I want you to cultivate a team of leaders that you lead, empowered people, empowered others, right? So I want to show you how to onboard them, how to keep them, how to retain them, how to skyrocket your sales and really do that from a servant's perspective, right? Which is going to lead to more personal fulfillment for your team and you as the owner or the manager or the person in the team. So... Thank you so much, everyone, for listening about my personal experience. I'm going to continue to share it. I'm going to continue to evolve. Whether you are a sales manager, sales leader, a CEO of a sales progressive company, just know I started out very similar. I started out, again, doing the door-to-door, making the 100 dials a day, dialing for dollars, right? Y'all hear that? If you've heard that, let me know. I'm curious if if I was the only one. And so it's in my blood to lead and to see other people succeed. And at some point not to make this all doomsday, but at some point, as you build momentum, the wheels are going to fall off. You know, whether you're scaling your company or your team, your quotas yourself, you can't be the sales, you can't be in your business and on your people. So how do you bring it all together? How are you surrounding yourself with really, really great people to explode your sales? They say that your success grows at the speed of your relationships. So are you the kind of person that attracts high quality relationships to grow your success? Are you? You know, because we all have these fears about, you know, people stealing from the business to someone destroying the business, um, from not making the calls, to not having the energy to make the calls, to the addictions, to the portion of the revenue. What portion of the revenue do we give back to the community versus invest in ourselves? Why aren't we answering these questions? Why is there no podcast out there that is actually answering 
the meaty questions, the questions that we all want to know, but we're too afraid to be vulnerable about. And so in my, what, 10 plus years of on the grind sales experience, that's what this is going to be. So here's the bottom line. You know, again, I've had the privilege and honor of attending some of the best neuroscience conferences and getting to know the leaders of them. And I've had the privilege and honor of running teams, multiple teams, some remote, some in office. And I get to work with some of the best and brightest salespeople, sales managers, CEOs in the world. And here's the promise. Take for a second and imagine. Literally imagine. Look at your revenues for 2020 and double them. No, seriously, double them. Extra credit if you want to triple them. Like what if you really, really double, tripled your revenue from the last year? What would that do for you? What would you do with the extra money? Because it's, it's just money. But what would you do with it? Would you change your family? Would you change your community? And on top of that, what about fulfillment? How about just knowing you have complete emotional mastery where you're not only able to coach and influence yourself, but you're coaching and you're influencing your family, your affiliates, your community, your team. That's the outcome of the podcast. That's my dream. That is my vision. That is what I was put here on earth to do. And that's the promise I am making you for this podcast. And we don't, we know, we know time is your only element that you have that you're willing to give up to us. And so if you're giving me this amount of time every week, sometimes multiple weeks, uh, multiple episodes in a week, my promise to you is I will over deliver. I love the impact. Not only impacting your sales team, but impacting your families, your community, the ripple effect, the momentum. I am moving my hands around wildly right now. And it's like, it's, it's far reaching. So I am excited. I am honored to do this and offer you this to all of our listeners. Now, you know a little bit about what we're offering, what we're doing here. I want to welcome you. And I want to invite you on this journey with us by first. I need you to go to the website, www.kaylanelsbury.com backslash podcast and download your free PDF. It's a jumpstart to neuroscience for sales success. It's called seven steps to neuroscience of success. And it has the seven core principles. It's about 30 pages long. I can't even cover everything we're doing in this podcast, but you implement that stuff right now. You implement that right now. And please, please remember, remember as you implement, the more you implement, the more you do, the more strategically you do it, the more likely it is that you will double or triple or quadruple your business this year by listening to this podcast. And then I need you to head on over to iTunes and refer this. If you love what we do, if you love the community you're building, if you're sitting there nodding, thinking like, yep, I might've found my tribe. You did. Share this with others. And you'll also find the pace, the Facebook page, Neuroscience for Sales Success. And you're going to meet a ton of other people in there. Um, as we continue to grow, hopefully these numbers just keep growing and we're able to create this tribe, this community of people who are unapologetic about succeeding in sales and they're passionate about sharing tips. So that being said, I'm going to give you a little bit of primer for what's to come. This is an intro, but our first episode is actually a mini series on sales leaderships for psychology. And we're going to be uh, about, you know, your inner game. What's going on in your inner game? Who do you have to be to attract the best talent? Who do you have to be to attract the best prospects? Who do you have to be to close the best business? And then there's all going to be episodes on interviewing and onboarding, getting out of the gates and the mistakes I've made and the seven mistakes that sales managers are making. Because we're going to join you on this journey. And we're all going to be prosperous. And we're going to look back and say, wow, we've grown so much. And you know what you do when you grow that much? You give to others. That's what you do. That's what you do. So welcome to the new show, Neuroscience of Sales Success. Can I get a yes? Welcome. I'm glad you're here.